Hello guys, in this video, we'll be covering how to calculate the lower quartile, the upper quartile and the interquartile range. A quarter is one of the three points that divide a data set into four equal groups, each representing a fourth of a distributed sample population. These three points are the lower quartile, upper quartile and the median. Using the same method of calculation as in the median, as we have seen in one of our previous uh, videos, we can get Q1 and Q3 equations as follows. Q1 here is a lower quartile, which is equal to LQ1 plus L on four minus F, order divided by FQ1, order multiplied by I, where our LQ1 is a lower class boundary of the lower quartile. Our N is the total frequency. Our F is the cumulative frequency before the lower quartile class. Our FQ1 is the frequency of the lower quartile class. So we look at uh, Q3, which is the upper quartile. Our LQ3 is a lower class boundary of the upper quartile class. Our N is still a total frequency. Our F is cumulative frequency before the upper quartile class. Our FQ3 is the frequency of the upper quartile class. I is a class width. So look at our interquartile range, which is Q3 minus Q1. So we'll start by analyzing this example. Okay, our first step will construct the cumulative frequency distribution. To construct the cumulative frequency, the first value for the frequency becomes the first value of the cumulative frequency. The second value, we take the second year plus the first give us 22. 12 plus 22, 34, 9 plus 34, 43, 7 plus 43, give 50. From there, we have our cumulative frequency. Next, we determine our Q1 and Q3. So Q1 is one quarter way of our data set. So we take N on 4, N is 50. Take 50 divided by 4, which will give us 12.5. So to obtain this, we are looking at the cumulative frequency equals to at least N over four. So if N over four gives us 12.5, that cumulative frequency will be 22. Which therefore means that our class will be the second class, that's 11 to 20. So if we substitute this in our data, we have that our Capital F is eight. We have that our FQ1 is 14 as the frequency of the lower quartile, frequency of the lower quartile. From there, we obtain substituting and simplify we have 18.7143. We move now to the upper quartile. Upper quartile here is three quarter way, so we'll take three on 4n, which will end up giving us 37.5. So here we are looking at the cumulative frequency equals to at least three on 4n. And this three on 4n give us 37.5. So this cumulative frequency will be 43, which is equivalent, which will give us the, third, the fourth class, which is 31 to 40. So that will be our class that we are going to be working on. From there, we now substitute our respective values. We have that uh, 34 will be our capital F, that's the cumulative frequency before the upper quartile class. Upper quartile class is 31 to 40. So the cumulative frequency before will be 43. We have the frequency of the 
upper class, which is nine, it corresponds directly to nine. We substitute there. From there, we have 34.389. So from here, I'll calculate our interquartile range, which will give us Q3 minus Q1, which will end up having 20.6746. Okay, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share.